All right, guys, I'm officially done with this house. It has been a journey. It's the biggest one I've had and by far the most difficult, mainly because I've done probably 85 to 90% of the work literally by myself. Um, so it's taken a little while, but I just wanna, you know, do my video as I always do and start you guys with the outside. You know, new roof. Um, little landscaping, nothing too major. Just to make it look good, the grass is starting to grow back. Um, if you guys need a realtor, Valiant Realty Group, call Lou Forges if you're interested in buying the house. You know, um, but yeah, like I say, new roof. Um, we did a lot of work to this thing. <clears throat> Had to redo this because it was all damaged and broken repaint the front door if you can remember this glass was completely shattered i guess from squatters or whatever so take you guys inside um all brand new flooring you know put the four inch baseboards in to kind of give it a more modern look you know put waterproof vinyl throughout um let me close this door because hc is blowing strong um Coming back in here, they had the wallpaper everywhere. It, it was just bad in this house. This house was, I think, built in the 70s and it wasn't anywhere near modern at all. So, you know, um, just taking you back to this living room area, you know, um, like I said, it was all ancient. Coming into the kitchen, you know, you guys helped me choose the paint for this place, the flooring for this place, the kitchen, the countertops, you know, new stainless steel appliances. So, you know, upgraded. Um, we installed some recessed cans here. You know, got an island right here. Sorry, the ice maker is making ice. You know, put some bar lights. Um, and we knocked, there was a wall right here. We knocked that down to give it an open concept you know, because it's just the way this house was. It's, it's a big house, but it looked real small with the way it was all closed up and everything. So, you know, and we took all the popcorn down and it's knocked down throughout this place. Um, you know, coming back here in the rooms, it was the same thing. I think this room was like a weird cloud look. You know, it, it had no fans, no outlet for the fans and everything. So we, you know, we added that to it. Um, and the same thing over here. This is like a weird brown color with the wallpaper border around. You know, we obviously knocked all that down. New flooring throughout the place. Added a ceiling fan. Um, this bathroom right here was disgusting. You know, because um, the house sat vacant for eight years. So naturally, it was some little wear and tear. But, you know, completely took all this out. So they have a new, you know, bathtub new walls, new tile and everything. Everything in here is new. Vanity, you know, plumbing, toilet, the whole shebang, you know. Um, now we gotta speed through the other side of the house, you know, kind of give them a little power walk on. Um, now the nastiest part in this house that I saw when we were here was this laundry room. Um, this laundry room, they had a rat in here. Um, so it was rat feces everywhere. I don't know what's going on with this light because it's, it's been working the whole time. It'll be power up soon, but it was feces everywhere. They left a bunch of stuff in here and I almost had to have a hazmat suit working in here. But as you can see, everything is brand new. It looks good and stuff like that. Um, coming back here in the master, you know, same thing. Fan, flooring throughout. You know, um, nice walk-in closets on both sides, you know, for his and hers. Um, same thing, new vanity. We completely redid this, too, because it was kind of weird and funny looking the way they had it. But, you know, we put a lighter tile in it to make it look bigger than it is. It's kind of like a weird concept the way they got it. But, you know, new toilet and everything like that. So you know, um, real quick, walk you guys out the back. Cause I don't think I ever showed you guys the back, but when I tell you this place, you couldn't look outside because it was so, the grass had grown almost taller than the house. 
Um, it's a nice little patio we got back here. You know, it's closed off and everything. Um, you know, but yeah, like all this, all these bushes and everything, literally there were trees lining this. You literally couldn't see the backyard. It was so cluttered. Um, they had this huge shed over there that we just completely tore out because it was beyond repair. And I honestly didn't feel like rebuilding it, but you know, this is it. We're done. Um, on to the next one. Thank you guys for continually supporting me, for helping me, because believe it or not, I do all this work. That's the easy part, but trying to choose different colors and paints and, and cabinets, I hate doing that, you know, but you guys make it easier. And for the people who continue to help and, you know, support me, thank you. Um, and we'll see you guys on the next one.